One of the current limitations of the ChatGPT model is that it does not have access to current information. However, we can sidestep that issue by building our own streamlit app powered by a GPT model using an agent that will go out and search the internet and provide the information that we're looking for. So I'll give you an example. I want to know plot summary of the latest John Wick 4 movie, the release date, and the review consensus. So I can ask the model to give me that information. So you see what it has given us is some summarized information on the actual plot of the movie, its release date, and the reviews that are generally positive with some critics praising it. Now, of course, we can ask very simple things to our model. For example, we can ask what is the stock price of Apple and the date. Now, I'm asking the current date so we can see the date of the current stock price. But, of course, you wouldn't do this. You would just ask for the stock price. And you can see as of June 12, 2023, we get the stock price. Now, what I'm going to do is show you how to easily code this model up. And we can do this very quickly. So let's jump into our IDE. So as you see, we don't have a lot of code. Let's cover the first part where we're bringing in our libraries. So of course, we're using Streamlit app. So we're bringing in Streamlit and saving as a variable ST. Now here is where we're starting to bring in all our dependencies around Langchain. So we want to be able to bring in that chat model, uh, chat open AI, and that's going to be that large language model that we can utilize. We want to bring in our agents. So the agent is going to be able to go out and do what we tell it to do. And then we want to bring in tools from those agents. So the tool is going to be what the agent can use to answer your prompt or query. And I'm using DuckDuckGo Search Run, which is the DuckDuckGo search engine. This is a free tool. You don't need an API key for this. Of course, you can use other search engines. However, they do require an API and a cost associated with. And then I'm using a YouTube search tool also. So I'm providing my agent with two tools to use, and that's also a free API. Now what we're going to do, we're going to instantiate the model. So we're going to create our large language model. We're going to leverage ChatGPT 3.5 Turbo. You need to pass in your API key. It's relatively cheap. So it's not very um, cost. Um, it doesn't break the bank. Then what we're going to do is set the temperature. Now this is up to you. You can make the temperature up to one and to make it more creative or allow it to reason a little bit more. Next, we're going to build our tools. So what we need to do is set those tools, set a description, and then pass that tool to our agent. So I am going to instantiate DuckDuckGo search by using that function, DuckDuckGo search run. Then I'm going to create a search tool by using this tool function we got from Langchain agents and then passing in this tuple of information, which is a search tool. You probably want to give it a better description than this. So, you, so when the model actually searches between the two, it can decide what to do, which one of the tools to use. And then what we do is pass it in the function from that DuckDuckGo, which is search.run. Then we can use a YouTube tool, which is the YouTube search tool. We pass in the name, we pass in description. I just said YouTube, but we probably say YouTube search for video to give it a better description. Now that I have those tools, I can save it in a list by just passing the search tool and the YT tool. Now that I have all my tools situated, I can just build my agent. And my agent is going to be built by the initialized agent from Langchain. I pass in the tools. I pass in the LML, LLM that I save from the chat open 
AI model. Then I use zero shot react description. So what this is going to do is it's going to allow the agent to choose the right tool for the right action. And then I set verbose equal to true so I can actually see the model reasoning. And I'll give you an example of that. So then I want to create a title, and I spell that wrong. I want to give it a title for my app. So I'm using that stream lit variable, and then I just pass in some emojis and named the title API search chat. Now we create our prompt. So from our stream lit variable, we can use an input text, and I can say input your prompt here. And this is, I'm going to save that as the prompt, which I'm going to pass back into our model for our agent. So then the response, I want to create a conditional. So if the prompt, so then once the prompt is initiated and the, it has a prompt, I want the agent to run over that prompt and then get the response from our model. So that's where we have response here. And that response is just what happens after we run the agent over our prompt. So it's essentially the answer that the model is giving us. So let's initiate this. So once we have everything together, we want to get our prompt where we can run our app. And I save mine in a different environment other than the base environment. So I'm going to write conda activate just to use the environment that I was using. Open AI is what I named that environment. And then I'm going to write streamlit run and then app.py, which is the file that we saved it under. And once I run that, it's going to open up that local host. And you can see what's initiating here is the app and then we can ask the app a question which is going to prompt that language model and we can see everything run here so I ask provide a summary of the John Wick 4 movie and a consensus of ratings and the release date. So we can run that and then what you can see is that that agent execute and then you can see the information that it's finding and the observation you can see where it's taking the information here and summarizing it you can see the thought process and then what we get is the final result here even though I spelled John wrong. So this is a way you can quickly sidestep that issue, build your own app, and get the latest data using that large language model, ChatGPT, and using agents and tools. Please like and subscribe and leave any questions in the comment section below. I hope this helped.